Elon Musk back, backing out. The Tesla CEO announced today he is terminating his $44 billion deal to buy Twitter. This idea to buy Twitter and under the auspices of free speech just seemed to me to be another public relations uh, skit from Elon Musk. Tech expert weighing, experts weighing in tonight as Musk says he is pulling out because Twitter failed to provide enough information on the number of spam, spam accounts on its platform. Good evening to you. I'm Andre Senior with Christina Rendon here. It's the latest in the saga since Musk announced he would buy the company back in April. KTV's Melissa Harrington joins us now with more. Melissa. Well, people I talked to said that they weren't surprised by this move by Musk. They say the economy is in a totally different place than it was when he first agreed to buy Twitter, but the company is not walking away from this deal easily the company announced it does plan to sue. The deal is off. Elon Musk is squashing a $44 billion Twitter acquisition. Documents filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission detailed the termination of the deal. Musk's lawyer accuses Twitter of being in breach of the merger agreement by failing to provide critical information and by making false and misleading representations about the number of spam bots on the social media platform. Part of the documents read, while this analysis remains ongoing, all indications suggest that several of Twitter's public disclosures regarding regarding its MDA use are either false or materially misleading. Twitter has said less than 5% of its users are spam accounts. I actually wasn't surprised. I, I can't give a reason why, but from day one, this always seemed like a publicity stunt to me. Nolan Higdon, a professor at Cal State East Bay, said it's important to remember the economic context of when Musk first agreed to buy the company three months ago. When Elon made this bid, um, you know, his stocks, particularly those of Tesla, were at like an all-time high, and they've only been declining, not, not necessarily because of his doing, but because of the market since then. And so one has to wonder if Elon realized that the price he was paying was way higher than the market value and he tried to find any excuse to get out of the deal. Musk had said he wanted to buy Twitter because the company was failing to live up to its potential as a platform for free speech. CNET editor-at-large Ian Scher said it appeared Musk regretted that decision. It started to feel like he didn't really want to buy the company. Uh, you know, he started criticizing the company quite a bit. I mean, that was part of his M.O. through this whole thing, uh, trashing executives, undermining a lot of their work, questioning how truthful a lot of their data was. Twitter's board chairman said the company plans to take legal action. In a tweet, he wrote, the Twitter board is committed to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk and plans to pursue legal action to enforce the merger agreement. We are confident we will prevail. One person who is not tweeting about this is Elon Musk. Now, he has 100 million followers, but has been quiet on the platform today. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Some very unusual for him. He's always on Twitter commenting about something. Alyssa, thank you. Thank you. Well, shares of Tesla were up in after hours trading following Musk's announcement that he wants out of the Twitter deal. So it turned into a positive for investors for his car company. Tesla shareholders had publicly expressed concern about Musk's ability to run Tesla while owning Twitter, along with his handful of other companies, including SpaceX and Neuralink. And Twitter is reportedly instructing its employees against tweeting about the announcement. The Verge reports that Twitter's general counsel sent out a memo saying staffers should, quote, refrain from tweeting, slacking or sharing any commentary about the merger agreement. The note says a deal is an ongoing legal matter.